Did you get thrown into surgically induced menopause and then get a diagnosis of either osteopenia or osteoarthritis in that one to two year post menopause time window? I did too, but this week I got my three year follow-up scans. My DEXA scan went from a 2.7, negative 2.7 T-score, which is osteoporosis, to a negative 1.1. I swear I'm still reversing this disease. I'm still going back. And I wanna share today what I've done to get me to this place today, why this disease is reversed, why my body feels so much stronger and I don't have all that pain that I was having before. All right, the first thing I did was I started hormone replacement therapy. Well, it turns out when I get in the literature that any woman who experiences surgically induced menopause has the highest risk of developing osteoporosis because of that rapid cutoff of estrogen for the bone. Our bones require estrogen to have mineralization. In the absence of estrogen, we experience bone loss. It is textbook. It's in there. All right, number two, the second thing, biomarker testing. I get it every three months because I'm on hormone replacement therapy and we want to check how my dosage is working with the physiological levels and how that also correlates with my symptoms so we track these two things together and that's been a godsend because we can make micro adjustments all along the way all right the third thing that i've done you know i'm going to say this it's qigong and tai chi practice oh my god there are three things that qigong is known for it's all over the literature preventing osteoporosis reversing osteoporosis and keeping the spine fully aligned as we age without that thoracic humpback forming. All right, the fourth thing I've done, I eat very healthfully. I eat a lot of vegetables. I have veggies for breakfast, I'm that person. I eat a lot of fruit, I have grass-fed beef, and I eat eggs, and I drink bone broth as part of a tea. So you know I also drink three to five cups of tea every day, and I really recommend that. All right, the fifth thing that I do is I keep my nervous system regulated. So we hear all the time, stress management, go de-stress, you gotta figure out how to do that. I wanna change that. We don't know what to do with that terminology. We don't know what that means. What we want to really start thinking about is this art of active rest. How do you incorporate moments of active rest in your day every single day? Being out here in nature is a form of active rest. The way you eat is a form of active rest. I have some links below that you can tap into to get more education on this. But I swear these five things, they come into the simplicity of life and really having the right molecules for our biochemistry to actually function. And that's when we get into a state of purification and the body can heal, the body can reverse disease. We just have to give it what it needs. So these are the five things that I really believe have reversed the disease state. All right, that's what I have for you today. I'll talk to you again soon.